Hello everybody and welcome back to the Tech Island and I'm your guide for this island tour. Today we're going to visit the Druze community in, uh, in one of the religions represented in our island. The, the place of worship is called uh, Hilwa. So I'm going to go to teleport off to the Hilwa so you can see what it looks like. And uh, this is their place of worship. In fact, it's uh, amazing that we can actually go in and visit because normally only religious people, uh, religious Druze people, can actually visit the, uh, their place of worship. You're welcome to come to the island and visit uh, their place of worship uh, you know, when, whenever you, you like and, uh, and then you'll be able to learn more about the, uh, the, Druze, the Druze people. But uh, I'm going to go and visit and do our special activity which teaches us about more about the Druze religion. So for this, we're going to go in to the, this beautiful place built, um, built by uh, our, our artist, uh, uh, who is uh, Jeremy Finkelstein. So let's go into and experience the Druze experience. And it's quite a long corridor, so I think in order to save time, it might just be better to um, to just fly in. And this is how we get around on us on the Tech Island. We go from place to place by by flying. So I can just fly in. I'm not going very straight, but anyway. Now, whenever we see these boards on the island, it means there's information here. So let's stop flying and have a look around. Here we have an information board. We click on English. The secret Druze game. Look in the five windows and click on the different objects to learn about the Druze festivals and religion. Try to find the Druze object in each window. And answer the question. If you are correct, you will receive part of the Druze star. If you find all the stars, uh, if you find all the five objects and answer all the questions, you will have a complete star. Okay, so let's have a look at the room and see what there is. Okay, so around the room, there are different windows. There's a red window, a green window, white window, all different types of windows. Let's go opposite here and start with this window here, the white window. There's information on everything here, so we can just click. First, there's a village of people only and the three other days by the whole community. What are we talking about? By the grave, there is an indentation where the believers see the mold of the prophet's foot. There are other shines of Prophet Shuab in Eglon and in Jordan. It's customary to call all you with that one. And then we have a question. Where is the tomb of Prophet Shuab located? So the symbol here which represents the Druze, the uh, Druze community, is the Druze hat. So, um, I don't think we had this information yet. We didn't click on everything. If we had, we would have got to come to the conclusion that um, it's actually in uh, King. And it's a festival which is actually the 25th of the month. It's coming up very soon. And uh, if we get it right, we should get uh, a piece of the star. So it's white, so maybe we can't see it. So let's go on. And the next piece of information is here. And you can learn all about El Qaeda, the second among the main prophets in Jewish tradition. On the 25th of January, the Druze is a celebrate at the grave of El Qaeda, Prophet Elijah, and Kfar Yosif by Akko. During the holiday, there's a cell on site for Jews symbols and whatever. Okay. According to the descriptors, is the prophet Elijah. 
Check this so we don't have to bother with that. Okay. Sorry. So, um, a prophet, let's have a look at this one again, who has magic and miracles, is known as in Christianity by the name of Mark Elias. So, um, and then let's have a look here. Faith of peace in the community, the land and the world. And this is the sign. And we're told, according to Jewish tradition, the prophet al Kadir. Let me move this across so you can see it better. Is Jethro, Jethro, Muhammad, Elijah, or Jesus? If you're following, you can see it says Elijah. And then we have um, a part of the star here. So uh, we can collect the other parts of the stars by going around to, to the other areas and learning about uh, the different uh, prophets. So here we have to find the right uh, the right flag. Let's take the English flag. This is a Thailand flag. Only men of religion participate in this holiday. It is held on September the 10th every year. Cousin to bless the participants with the words Zira Makabula, may God grant you receive your wishes. If you get it right. <laughs> In what month is the festival of the Prophet Sabatan celebrated? I think the answer is September. And it is. And we get another piece of our star. So we continue until we get all the pieces of the star together. But as you're going around, you'll learn a lot about the, the, the five prophets who make up the religion of, of the Druze. And you can find out all about the prophets and their, their customs. So uh, on our island, we have parts of activities for all different religions. And the four religions in Israel, the main religions in Israel, the Druze, the Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. And you're welcome to visit all these other activities. And because it's International Day, we have a festival of songs and uh, uh, songs and um, stories. And you're welcome to, to join us to writing stories together with, with other people around. And if you join us on other tours, you'll get to see other parts of the island. So thank you all very much for coming.